Hello everyone, this is Jaxus. Hello Rambo. And this is now round two of our Smash 4 Weekly Tournament. We've got Three Man, the Cosmic Sawyer, and Blake. G-Man places pretty high reliably, and Blake... I Blake sucks. I don't even remember the last time he got lower than third. Blake is really good. I, I just... I really like watching him play. Yeah. I think every, everybody here, he's probably my favorite to watch. He is the world's he's really scariest fun. villager, or at least that one's. <laughs> yeah. Probably not the world, but... So I will say, terrifying. In, in Free For All, my tree's a little better. <laughs> Only in Free For All, though. Alright. I'm the true master in Free For All. Also, uh, anyone in the chat, if you could tell us how the audio quality and specifically with regards to the mic is, that would be great. Anyways, looks like they're almost done with striking. This is going to be either Diddy or Yoshi. I'm honestly not sure which against Blake's Villager, I'm sure. Though he does also have a Wario. He has a Wario. But I will say, I get disappointed when I see his Wario. Because that means no Villager. Yeah. And I like watching right. his Villager. Duck Hunt. I just wish he wouldn't play it against Yoshi. Please don't. G-Man's Diddy versus Blake's Villager. They both start off by setting things up. Oh, G-Man misses the grab. He gets it off the roll, though. It doesn't really matter, though. He got what he needed. Oh. Wow. Duck Hunt Dog. Hates everyone. Is that a pop up again? I, I think that probably Villager's biggest tool in this matchup is going to be Lloyd, because Diddy is very fast on the ground, but... Oh my god. Dog. I told you. Yeah. Like you can control that, where he shows up. As long as you kill attention. one, as long as you kill one, it's a ticking time bomb until it does. Anyways, uh, Villager's biggest thing in this matchup is probably going to be the Lloyd, because Diddy is pretty okay. fast on the ground. That was horrible. Oh. He really just ran into a bowling ball. Well, he tried to spot dodge it, but Blake started it just slightly late to catch the spot dodge. He does that a lot. He'll hold on by just like. I don't know if Blake's not warmed up, but he's not playing like he's doing He's doing a lot of smashes that I usually don't see. I don't know if that's oh, just the matchup. I didn't even see that that was a pop gun because of the grass. I thought he was like charging a forward smash or something. Oh, G Man's not dead. Blake no, almost got him with that neutral air, but not quite. Oh, that was a nice little Lloyd attempt there. Those turn up. Turn up for what? <laughs> uh, but those turn ups are really, are really nice. <laughs> not random to you people who think they're random. Indeed not. Uh, Very weird to pull off though. Do you remember what the thing that we found as a determining factor was? It had to do with the uh, how hard you fastball and stuff. Yeah, that's right. It was right. really weird. Like you can't do the three turn up unless you have room to do it. You know what I mean? Because you have to uh, fastball at a certain rate. Um, but turn up one and two uh, are dependent on uh, how hard you commit with your uh, button pressing. It's okay. really, really weird. I don't know why he's like that. But at least it's not random. Mm -hmm. yeah. Diddy, of course, is going for just up air, down throw, up air. <laughs> oh. G-Man keeps getting very close to the blast zone, which is just kind of how Diddy's recovery works now. He does but have the lead there every time. I don't yep, I, quite a bit. And I was gonna say he shouldn't approach, but Peanut is not a very good. Damn not dealer. against Villager. No. Villager. You can't. Can't throw out the against him. All right. Thank you, chat. How is the audio volume now? Did the game go down a little bit more? Anyways, uh, back to the match, because there is a delay. Villager, or sorry, Blake managed to take G-Man's first stock, but he's at very high percent, so assuming he doesn't get a gym. Oh, did that just goes through the field? Is that technically a grab box? Uh, I think it has to do with the fact that it's under. Okay, yeah, um, probably the shield poke. Yeah. Ooh. It's that just really is weird such a the hard thing to approach through Lloyd to up smash. The only like vulnerable area is behind him, and you have no. to go through all the rest of it. Blake is caught up pretty fast because you have to absolutely destroy Villager to kill him. He doesn't have a very strong 
uh, disadvantage state. But oh my god, Neutral. Yeah. Neutral is just not fun Still, I, I consider that stock to be a pretty big thing considering he was down by a lot at first. Oh yeah. So, as long as you can get this kill, I'd say under 60, it's not too much of a disadvantage. Though, this so, is also Diddy. That first, yeah. like, 50% is laughably easy. With Rage? He, that's why you gotta kill him now. Yeah, there's 60. Oh, 75. Freeze now this is gonna run. get difficult. Oh, because wow. up air is a thing now. Shut up, G-Man. <laughs> Talking to other people in the, the venue right now. The disrespect is real. Back throw, we we'll take it. And G-Man really, really needs to watch out for a game's attempt right now. Because the villager is really good at that. And we all... What? Go down a little bit more. Okay. Thank you. Could just a bit, but I have a feeling that, that means not enough. Yeah, there we are. All right. But, um, for sure. <laughs> wow, pockets. <laughs> Grab pockets. Pockets are deep. <laughs> Walking around uh, extra in that, his pocket, but he lost. That up air will take it. Whoops. One, two, one. All right, game Diddy one goes Kong. to G-Man. I just want to kick Diddy Kong in the face <laughs> when he dances like that. God. Screw your down throw! But, um, yeah, as I was saying before, Villager, he, you can kind of trap Diddy in the air a little bit because he doesn't have that high horizontal movement there. So with Lloyd, it, Diddy, who's normally pretty safe, like short hop forward air, safe on shield, up air is stupid, obviously down throw. Now, why did he switch? Yoshi? I'm not sure. Honestly, probably because uh, Yoshi is the character he's trying to main, and he legitimately, he said it himself, he plays Diddy because he's stupid. <laughs> I, I think maybe he's given Blake a lot of respect here, like he maybe he figured it out and he's trying to keep him on his toes, maybe, I don't know. I just don't he, see... He also tends to go Yoshi at least once per match, just to try and get more practice with him, too. That's another big thing for his man. But I know that last week he said that he could not handle the villager very well with Yoshi. But oh my gosh, he's putting in work for the upper end right now. Yes, he is. So he does. Wait. What's up? Uh, someone at the store just walked through. Yeah, okay, looks like. They've as long as both of you agree. both of you agree to. Okay, yeah. they have both agreed to restart the game because there was interference. Alright, luckily that was still pretty early. Alright, sorry about that, folks. Anyways, um... Uh, going back into this, same characters, same everything. Okay, alright. Start Game 2, over. version 2. <laughs> they were honestly very close to even, though admittedly Yoshi was off stage. Also, uh, Killinger had wider advantage, to be honest, at least 30. It was like 60 something to 90 something. Oh, was it? Alright. Yeah, so. But you know what? It's Blake. Blake's a gentleman, and he's got a pretty big lead again now, so. Mm -hmm. Got hit, or sorry, just popped the shield drop with the Lloyd rocket. Lloyd is just something that <laughs> it forces a reaction, and that is really good, especially for something that has very little commitment from yourself at different ranges. He's oh, got a lead. Why didn't he just cancel the? Uh... Yeah, why did he then like go and take? Oh no. That is, I honestly, I don't think the Blake would go for it, but Villager, or sorry, you that knows that you should never let Villager go here because the barrel camping yeah. is, it's there's real. so little you can do about it. I mean, it's not something you can ban a stage over because it's just one character and, okay, it's going to ban it against that character, but... Exactly why it should have been banned. Yeah, okay. But... Ouch! Oh! oh! Okay. That. The cheese. Okay. Wow. The barrel. All right. So Randall decided to show up. <laughs> so we have Randall on story. We have Randall's ghost on Yoshi's Island in Brawl. What and is Randall this? is working the controls of that barrel. Apparently. Randall Kong. <laughs> Randall Kong. Okay. <laughs> Randall Kong making an appearance. And honestly, changing this match a lot yeah. right now. 
because this wow this would be even in stock. This, that was horrible. Especially for such a momentum based uh, player like G Man, that is huge for him. Hopefully he can bring that back though. That was that uh, was just not okay. <laughs> And now you gotta work because he's a full stock down now. With this percent and rage, this is a horrible spot. Mm -hmm. Though Yoshi can definitely kill this percent, he just needs to land something. Yeah, but. Oh, alright. Uh, looks like I need to sign off for a second, get things set up, and I will be back. I guess it's just Rub Rub. All alone. Alright, so I don't... It's gonna be very difficult for G-Man to come back from this. Uh, I... I don't know what he can do. His, uh, his... All of his kill moves are very... Are very, very commitment... Um, heavy, like we were just talking about. But he got the kill. And now he's got Rage, so he has a chance to make... To mount a comeback here. Though... With Blake's skill, it's gonna be very difficult. Missing the grab there. And Yoshi doesn't have- oh wow. I thought he was gonna get him with the tree. He's gotta concentrate on adding damage. No commitment, but he committed too hard. You're up. I'm up? Yeah. Alright, this time, I'm out. Rub rub out. Okay. Hello? Uh, yes, you are against the that team. I am returning. So, let's see, this is... Yeah, G-Man is still at a full stock disadvantage. Uh, go for it, yeah. Looks like I'll be joined here very soon by Tomcat. Hello, everyone. This is Tomcat. Okay, so G-Man has quite a bit to make up. Yes. Especially against someone who's just so draining to fight, honestly, and like Villager is. And I thought if I could use a stock down, but he might be able to get it. Yeah. Huh? He very well could. It's yeah. just a matter of he has to play yeah. extremely safe against Villager, who's just a master of locking down options. And it's barely going to kill him. will not kill him, but I, it puts him in a very bad him. spot. Oh. Alright, boot to the Lloyd, gets the clank at first, but then the explosion gets him, and yes. down tilt will give Blake the game. Do you think down tilt will go up? Yeah, down tilt, uh, villager's down tilt is extremely strong, too. Yeah. Alright, so now we're going on to game three. Yep, 1-1 one, one each, and these are two regular high placers, so... This will continue be to be a good match. Yeah. As much fun as Villager may or may not be to fight. <laughs> you think he'll go back to Diddy Kong? I don't know. It's quite possible. Oh, yep. Yeah. Where are we going? Yeah, I know that he'll want to go to Halberd, but I'm sure that's yeah. banned. Yep. Delfino it is. Uh, for those of you in the chat who are asking, Congo Jungle is like the Dreamland 64 of this game. All of the Blast Zones are insane. But, anyways, G-Man starts off with a very solid combo of just down to up air and keeps As him above could. him. But, jab combo, Diddy doesn't have a very good jab combo. Yeah, but it's, it's weird it's, that it can catch you off guard. It's heavily recommended that any time that you would jab, just use down tilt instead, because it's either the same frame or faster, combos into itself, does more damage, and leads into other things. However, I feel like that was honestly probably just a misinput that he yeah. rolled with. Okay. Hot. I don't and think those are, Oh, stuff. transition kill. Uh, the transition to this yeah. area lowers the upper blast zone by quite a bit. By quite a bit, then goes back to where this is. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, Nothing to do with that. <laughs> yeah. No, they're both red, little short people with brown on them, but... Oh, we're running out. Yeah, one monkey, one brown yeah. hair. Ooh, okay, dodges the grab, which Villager, one of the things that hurts him is that his grab is very, very slow. Like, it's, it is. 
At least Maybe not as slow the slowest non-tether. Not well, technically not yeah. tether. It almost is. And it also has a blind spot right in front of him. Right in front of him. Oh, He-Man, no. Okay. <laughs> I heard him over the background going, No! But, ooh, he just barely managed to flatten himself with that forward air under the Lloyd hitbox. I think Blake will have to take it right now in order to escape. What just happened? Uh, double bowling ball. First one missed, and just missed for a second. Yeah, but I didn't see the hit lag from hitting the second one. He just kind of disappeared. <laughs> because I believe, I think the game may have lagged because of the uh, rocket barrels, but I don't know. I don't think so, because it can handle like eight player smash, so. Yeah. But that was odd. I don't know, it was just too odd. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. Back to, ooh. G-Man taking a very risky spot on the map, going right next to the walk-off. Yeah. But he decided against that. Oh. And there's... Up air will oh. not kill! Oh, transition, I believe, saved. Uh, no, that was just a case of Smash 4's red lightning effect being yeah. quite a tease. It doesn't actually like being correct. Yeah. Ooh, but back air will kill. That is always very odd to see the little swing shot kill G-Man. Recover, please. Okay. So that was not worth. <laughs> that was not going to be a G-Man. <laughs> You know, that's something you have to do a lot with uh, Diddy Kong, is, oh my god, please make this recovery. Villager, that is I'll not something you worry about ever. Like, I'll just be <laughs> better than Brawl and get... Oh, I believe recovery. he actually has, outside of Glide, more recovery capabilities. Yeah. Other than the same. Ooh, um, G-Man, I think... Did it throw you get... Did it throw you In this game, while you're actually throwing someone, you are completely invincible. So I think he tried to use that, and this time it just barely... Ooh, and speaking of just barely mistiming, he released the forward smash just too late. He almost caught Nick with that. Yeah. Alright, down throw, up air. Down throw, up air. <laughs> Say it with me, folks. Down throw, up air. <laughs> But, okay, his walling was forward air pretty well, which makes sense because Diddy's forward air is honestly a lot like Brawl Mars. Yeah, which is still extremely good. good. Yeah. Especially for a Brawl Mars main. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just looks like he stuff. has the percent lead. He was briefly at Super Saiyan percent. Didn't stay there very long. Ooh, does not get the punish on Villager's Whip grab, which is extremely laggy, so definitely something you want to capitalize on. Well, I guess not extremely laggy, but yeah. it's, it's definitely punishable. Get oh, wow. The stage transition got him out of the up throw, I think. Yeah. Uh, no, maybe not. I think he might just be at too high a percent. Yeah, most likely too high a percent. Yeah. Um, this is a very close match for Game 3. That will and take it. Will Okay, that, honestly, I did not expect Apparently. that attack to, like, I didn't expect him to throw out an attack there. But, with that, G-Man will take it, and...